Now available in paperback and e-readers, The Temptation of John Haynes. Given to temptation, pick up this action-packed African-American paranormal romance. Get The Temptation of John Haynes in paperback and e-readers today. Last week, your Kevin Samuels lost all of his credibility. Now, your Kevin Samuels lost his credibility because he had an Instagram Live interview with Nicki Minaj, and instead of him standing up for the so-called principles that he has on his show, he compromised those principles in order to gain acceptance with a mainstream celebrity. Now, your Kevin Samuels is known for going out here and confronting black women on his live stream show about their numerous flaws and issues. However, when he was in the presence of a celebrity like Nicki Minaj, he instead went out of his way to acquiesce to her and practically made no efforts to confront your Nicki Minaj about her promiscuous behavior and her very um, pr provocative image. And because he did not go out here and confront Nicki Minaj about her promiscuous behavior, the promotion of sexual promiscuity in her music videos, or her provocative image, he showed that he put being popular over going out here and having the integrity to stand behind his so-called message. Now, this complete lack of consistency on the part of your Kevin Samuels proves a point I had been making for years in my videos regarding him, and that is that he is more about gaining acceptance in the mainstream than having the integrity to stand on his principles. Because I have always said that your Kevin Samuels was possibly an agent who was meant to infiltrate the black manosphere, and he was meant to go out here and take control of the narrative so that your black men would get off the road of black empowerment and then get back on the road of the gender wars. And what your Kevin Samuels did with this interview with Nicki Minaj was continuing to push that whole dinocentric narrative as related to your black men primarily looking to gain the favor of women and getting off the road of working towards improving themselves and empowering themselves. Because what I saw in that Instagram live interview was just embarrassing to watch because here we have the man who's always in his live streams going out of his way to go out here and call out black women when he got in the presence of a black female celebrity who pr promoted all of the images and narratives he's, that he says he's against, he does not go out here and confront said female and hold her to the same standard that he holds other black women to. Yes, your Kevin Samuels will call out a common work, working black woman, but he won't hold a female like a Nicki Minaj was a celebrity to the same standard. And that really shows a complete lack of character because a man of character is going to remain consistent whether it's a celebrity woman or a regular woman and hold them to the same standards of accountability and make sure that his, he stays on message. Because if you can't stay on message, that just shows weakness and that is what your Kevin Samuels showed when he went out of his way to acquiesce to Nicki Minaj. And it looked like to me that he was starstruck by her celebrity and looking to gain favor with your Nicki Minaj and trying to get himself some brownie points so that he could go push himself further to the mainstream. And that is something I believe is diametrically opposed to the standards of the black so-called manosphere when it was originally created by O.J. Duke Jackson. It was originally meant to be a place for men to go out here and learn how to be better men and to be sharpened by other men. Unfortunately, 
as agents like your Kevin Samuels have taken over and taken control over the narrative, what we're seeing is more and more acquiescing to women and going out here and looking to butt kiss and bootleg celebrities. And I found it quite embarrassing to watch your Kevin Samuels going out here and looking to gain favor with a saint, with a woman who promotes many of the images that he says are destroying black women's images and a woman who pushes and promotes dysfunctional narratives in the black community like the single mother, like the sexually promiscuous black woman. These are narratives that Kevin says on his show are keeping black women single, but when he's confronted by a woman who participates in that behavior, and because he doesn't call it out because she's a celebrity. And that again shows how little character your Kevin Samuels has that he does not call out a woman who promotes many of the images he says are destructive to black women and keep them from getting this so-called high value man. And it just shows me how low your Kevin Samuels morals truly are that he'll sit there and give a pass to a Nicki Minaj, a woman who I would have taken straight to the barbecue because I could care less about her so-called celebrity status because I know what she's, the behavior she's participated in has been destructive to black girls and I would hold her accountable for promoting the whole self-hatred of young black girls with her image as related to trying to look like either a white or an Asian woman and kicking her face up with makeup and her promoting the narratives of sexual promiscuity that are just breathing brand new life into the old stereotype of the Jezebel. Because for me, it's not about gaining favor with some black celebrity, it's about taking respect of black people because Women like your Nicki Minaj degrade the image of our sisters and they degrade the image of our icons like your Nicki Minaj did in that photo that she manipulated of Malcolm X, El Malik El Shabazz, calling him a looking a N-word. And this type of woman and her image needs to be pushed back on and, it, you know, and black men have to stand up with integrity to stand up against these kinds of images. And sadly, your Kevin Samuels showed how little integrity he has because as I'm seeing from many out here, in, they're, they're more interested in getting into the mainstream than helping out the everyday brother or the everyday sister improve their quality of life. They're looking more for gaining mainstream acceptance and that is just again showing how compromised these individuals are because men of character, they when they looked at that interview like myself, they, they would get absolutely disgusted because you clearly see a man betraying everything that he says he's about and sitting there acting like, oh, gaining her favor is more important than standing for your principles. And when a man get, goes out here and does this kind of behavior, it just shows how he doesn't respect himself. And this is why men like your Kevin Samuels don't get respect because they don't stand up for anything. And when you don't stand up for anything, you fall for everything. And that is why your Nicki Minaj practically finessed your Kevin Samuels during that Instagram live and practically made him out to look like a joke because if you'll go out here and acquiesce to a woman who promotes ideas that run counter to everything that you're, so you say you're about, it just makes you look like somebody who has no credibility whatsoever. So when I look at your Kevin Samuels at in that interview, he showed me that he definitely is nothing but a high value simp. And whenever he saw a woman with a higher so-called social status than he thought he had, he needed to go out here and try to win her favor and her approval. And again, that was just him showing the weakness of his character. And when he showed the weakness of his character, 
he compromised his entire platform and he lost all credibility as I saw it in my eyes and this was happening right in front of everyone and when I look at the whole situation with Kevin Samuels and Nicki Minaj again it was just absolutely embarrassing to watch and he just didn't see what happened during that interview because when you're in an interview and you're not consistent people will see that you just don't stand for what you believe in now as this interview went on your Nicki Minaj asked Kevin Samuels to rate her and when he asked her to rate her I just shook my head at the number he gave her now your Kevin Samuels went out of his way to say your Nicki Minaj was a num was a nine but I'd have to say she's a negative 50 because there was no real beauty in your Nicki Minaj as related to her so-called looks because the woman's face was covered in a gallon of makeup she was wearing a wig and everything about her was fake so how can somebody who's wearing a wig and makeup that's caked on to make her look Asian be a number nine that's a critical question I have to ask those in the manosphere who believe that this woman is some kind of beautiful because I don't really believe that they believe she's beautiful they're just starstruck by her celebrity and excuse me they think that because a celebrity is paying them attention they're gonna go give her a he's gonna go give her a number higher than what she actually is now Sean rates her as a negative 50 because basically your Nicki Minaj everything about her is fake and her character is absolutely lacking because when I look at your Nicki Minaj a woman who would go out here and disrespect El Malik El Shabazz Malcolm X one of our great black icons that really shows me what I need to know basically about her character that she's so compromised that she'll disrespect a black icon and then I'm also disgusted by her promotion of sexual promiscuity and her so-called provocative image that image is not one that I think would reflect a man who had high value as related to character because a man who has high value as related to character wants to follow the Most High God and he wants his woman who is his helpmeet to reflect him as related to presenting an image of the Most High God so he when he looks at this Nicki Minaj he does not see a woman of character no he sees a 304 or what we call a harlot and he does not go out here and praise that as an image of womanhood because a man of character understands as God's head and God's steward he has to follow the standards of the Lord as related to leadership and that man when he again is standing face to face with someone like a Nicki Minaj he's going to follow Jesus God's son and call it out because that's what Jesus did when he was on the earth he called out people who participated in this in this kind of behavior he did not go out here and support and praise it and again that just shows how little character your Kevin Samuels has because he went out of his way to when he was faced with a test of his character he failed miserably because when your Kevin Samuels was presented with the very woman he oftentimes spoke against in many of his shows he did not go out of his way to stand up to said woman confront said woman and hold said woman accountable because he wanted to gain favor with those in Hollywood and that really again shows weakness of character because a man of character is not concerned with gaining favor with others he is more about being getting the respect of the most high and he understands that his respect is an intangible that is more valuable than gaining favor with a ratchet female and his respect is an intangible that once you lose it you can't get it back and it's hard to respect a Kevin Samuels because even though he's confrontational with 
regular black women, whenever he's put face to face with celebrity black women, he goes out here and crumbles under dust. He's not like me who has gone, fa gone out here and directly told Halle Berry in Twitter um, to watch videos where I have criticized her or gone out here and gone directly to other celebrities and let them know that their behavior is out of line. That's the difference between a Sean James and a Kevin Samuels. And I get respect because I stand up for myself. And that's something your Kevin Samuels would, didn't do in the face of other celebrities. He did not have the backbone and the stones to stand up to them. And that's why those celebrities are now looking at him and seeing him as somebody they don't respect they, and somebody they don't regard because he did not stand up and remain consistent on his message and because he did not remain consistent on his message that's why his entire platform fell completely apart last week yes he got attention for being in a live stream with Nicki Minaj but when he did not continue to stand on his principles this is what led to him falling completely apart and he won't see this because he doesn't understand the subtle politics transpiring around him and he doesn't understand the chess game that was played and how he was finessed into a checkmate where he actually lost in the game because many simps think about just getting the favor of a female but whenever you get try to get the favor of a female and you come from a position of weakness you don't get anything at all except be except you're just out here made to be played for a fool now if you want to learn how to break out of the simp paradigm that your kevin samuels is currently in you can pick up my book stop simping why men don't need finance to get romance and you can pick up other books in the simp series like stop simping in cyberspace and stop simping in the workplace and you can also pick up my other men's issues books like The Man Crisis and Why 70% of Black Women Are Single. And all of these books are available in paperback and Kindle format on Amazon.com and other online booksellers. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback, those who refuse the gift of eternal life are condemned to wander in the darkness of eternal night.